Hi everyone, I'm David, one of the beauty directors here at Sephora. This video is something a lot of you ask about. It's all about dark spots. Prevention, treatment, how to address them. I know there's a lot of questions about this topic, so hopefully in this video I'll be able to simplify some of the myths and things about dark spots and really help you find the right products to address your concerns. So what are dark spots? What causes them? The truth is it's really in its most simplest form an overproduction of melanin, often referred to as hyperpigmentation. Melanin is what gives our skin, our eyes, and our hair color. Usually, for most of the time, it's distributed through your body in a pretty even way. Whether you're fair skin or deep skin or light hair or dark hair, your body has a mechanism to control a sort of even distribution. So you get a gorgeous even complexion, even hair color, all of that stuff. Occasionally, those melanin productions can cluster together, creating a bit of a darker patch of color. This is what is considered hyperpigmentation or dark spots. The most common cause, overexposure to the sun. Let's be honest, we all know that, we've all heard about it, we've all seen it, and I will tell you from the start, the best prevention, the best treatment, the best everything you can do, SPF. You gotta use it. Seriously, it will prevent you from getting dark spots and all that stuff to begin with, we know that. It can help reduce any current dark spots from getting darker. It is really one of the only foolproof we know that this is your best defense. It really is. Like, I can't emphasize it enough. So I have to say that in the beginning because to talk about dark spots and not mention SPF would just be bad on my part. So you got to use SPF. Sun exposure basically causes those pigmentations, that melanin to come together and it creates these dark spots. Sometimes they take a long time to show up. What you've done in your youth can show up later in life. This is why a lot of times you used to hear the wives tell of like liver spots on the hands as you got older. It really has nothing to do with your liver. That is just sun damage and the reality is most people, when you're out in the sun, your hands are horizontal and they're receiving the most direct sunlight all the time. And most people are not applying SPF to their hands. So guess what? That's why when we get older, we start to see those really strong hyperpigmentation dark spots from the sun on our hands. So just a sort of little bit of a, a cautionary tale, if you will, of the power of SPF and that it not only belongs on your face, but really you gotta put it everywhere if you wanna avoid dark spots. So there are some other common causes of dark spots. It can be things like acne, post-acne scarring, what's called a post-inflammation pigmentation. It's commonly referred to as a PIP. The inflammation, when we have things like acne or, or strong blemishes, can actually cause this type of hyperpigmentation to occur. And if you've ever had one of these, you know they can take a really long time to go away and they can be really difficult. Some of the other concerns that are really common are hormonal changes and imbalances that can cause things like melasma as well as hyperpigmentation. So now that we have a general understanding of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, I'm gonna walk you through some products that are really more about the ingredients in the products so you can understand some different approaches to dealing with and addressing dark spots and hyperpigmentation aside from wearing your SPF. Okay, so the first product I wanna talk about is from the Inky List, a brand I absolutely love, and this is their Alpha Arbutin Brightening Serum. I chose this specifically because Alpha Arbutin is the ingredient I wanted to talk about. It's a really great ingredient for addressing dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And what I love about the Inky List as a brand in general is that they create a lot of their products to be very simple, minimal ingredients so that you can sort of customize your own routine. This particular serum is really lightweight because it's basically 
Alpha Arbutin, and some Squalane, which is just a really great hydrator. But what is this Alpha Arbutin? It's an ingredient that you might find is actually in some of your skincare already, if you look on the ingredients. It hasn't really received its moment in the sun, though I think it's really sort of on the precipice of becoming the superstar that I really know that it is. So what is it? It's a naturally occurring, powerful antioxidant. It is called the natural hydroquinone. Now, if you know what hydroquinone is, you know that has always been the gold standard of one of the most effective ingredients out there for dealing with and addressing dark spots. The great thing about alpha arbutin is it does the same process, which is basically it inhibits your skin from overproducing melanin in certain areas. It kind of balances that production out. Remember I was saying how like, normally our bodies produce melanin in a very balanced way so we get evenness and those clusters of overproduction or hyperpigmentation, hyperproduction, this kind of goes into your skin and it goes, hey, nope, 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 we're not gonna let you do that. We're gonna stop you, we're gonna stop you. And it stops the process of this um, overproduction of melanin so you can actually help with this prevent the appearance of future dark spots, but it also can help to prevent the appearance and minimize the appearance of what you have currently. So it's a great all around product. There's no photosensitivity. It's a clean formula and it's really, really great even for sensitive people because it's not an active in the sense of like an acid where it would be you know, could potentially irritate or inflame the skin. It doesn't work in that way. It works in a bit more of a regulatory way. It's a great way to think of it actually. It's like a regulatory ingredient. It goes into your skin, it regulates to make sure that everything is working in the correct balance way when it comes to your melanin and how it clumps together and or is dispersed. So it's a fantastic ingredient when it comes to dark spots, hyperpigmentation. It's something that I think everyone should have their eye on and at least try because if you've tried other ingredients and you didn't find that they were working well for you, this may be the answer you're looking for. Okay, so up next is from Summer Fridays and this is the CC Me Serum. I'm talking about vitamin C, right? That's one of the great ingredients, probably one of the most popular ingredients that we've heard spoken about over the past couple years when it comes to promoting an even skin tone. And there's a simple reason why. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. Antioxidants, very similar to the alpha arbutin, are great when it comes to helping minimize environmental damage. You've probably heard that before, or environmental stressors. Well, guess what? Sun damage is environmental damage. It's an environmental stressor. So antioxidants are great at sort of maintaining free radicals from doing all the negative things that they do, like causing hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C is also really great at regulating your skin as well. Keeping it from overproducing melanin, this is a little tip that I, I like to say, and I want to make sure I remember to say this. This is why this works, vitamin C works great during the day, because it actually works in the moment when it's when your skin is being sort of attacked by environment or by the sun. It also is great to have vitamin C in conjunction with SPF. They work like a powerhouse defense mechanism on your skin that really is like a first line wall of defense against damage, discoloration, and hyperpigmentation. It is very, very known to do that. This particular serum also has some great hydration in it. It has some really cool peptides in it. So you're getting an all around anti-aging, if you will, or a more promotion of youthful, radiant, gorgeous looking skin because vitamin C and peptides and hydration also work to minimize the, uh, the effect of fine lines and wrinkles, um, texture on the skin. This is like the kind of serum where you're like, I just want one ingredient that'll do everything. I, maybe I have a little bit of dark spots, maybe I have some texture, maybe I have some wrinkles. I want kind of one thing that's gonna do it all. That's what vitamin C is gonna do. It's gonna, it's gonna get in there and do a little bit of everything and manage that your skin looks its best, 
feels its best and performs its best. And I love this serum because again, lightweight. I really like a lightweight serum, especially because a lot of these things, we're gonna be thinking about using them during the summer. It can be hot and I don't want heavy stuff on my face. So a lightweight serum that does all that is really great. Also to say, vitamin C, alpha arbutin, they kind of, those types of ingredients can really be used with a lot of other ingredients, which is why you may see them in formulas together. So they can't, there's no worry in that sense of like, can I use this with that? Yeah, you can. The, the more protection, the more defense, the more you're addressing the concern, the better results you might see in the end. And vitamin C is really one of those gold standards of just, you should be using it because your skin will really show the results, whether it's in a minimization of dark spots, minimization of fine lines and wrinkles, or just general healthy looking skin. Okay, so up next is another powerhouse ingredient. This is probably one that I love <laughs> a lot because it is kind of the fountain of youth. Shani Darden Retinol Reform. Retinol is a wonderful skincare ingredient, a magical thing for your skin. There's no other way to describe it. So what does retinol do? Retinol promotes cellular turnover. So your skin is multiple layers of cells, right? And you have your top surface. And these are the older dead skin cells. Down here, those young, fresh, beautiful skin cells. When we're young, your skin brings those young skin cells to the surface daily, practically. It's just getting rid of the dead old ones, bringing up young, young, young. As we get older, that process slows down and slows down and slows down. And what happens is you start seeing more of the visible damage to your skin because the cells that are there are sitting there for a lot longer. Retinol helps to promote a faster turnover on your skin. So that's gonna start removing a lot of those signs, those top signs of damage that are on the skin. So you'll be bringing fresher, newer skin cells to the surface that don't have that damage. And what that can do, especially for hyperpigmentation and dark spots, is it can move that process along fast enough that it can actually help alleviate it entirely. Um, you know, over time, retinol has a great aspect to it of really reviving your skin to almost its most optimal health that it can be. Um, I love retinol. I've always loved retinol. Retinol is also one of those products that's great for all the different types of dark spots and hyperpigmentation out there. I especially like to recommend retinol to people who are dealing with dark spots that come from any type of acne or PIPs, those post-inflammation pigmentation, because retinol is also a great way to address blemishes in general. It can really help your skin turn over and get rid of the clogging and the skin cells that may be um, backed up and building up and causing congestion in the skin that may lead to the breakouts. So you kind of are preventing and also helping to alleviate the appearance of what you have to begin with when it comes to the dark spots. So just a fantastic ingredient. I will say when it comes to retinol though, some people can be sensitive to it. This one from Shani Darden, what I love is it's an encapsulated 2%, so that's the highest amount you can get of retinol before it needs a prescription. So it's very effective, but it's encapsulated, so it's a little bit gentler on the skin. I would say anyone who wants to try this, tip for you when it comes to retinols in general, try it once a week at night. Put it on once, you know, one night, see how you feel. Try it the next week once, feeling good? two nights a week the following, then three nights a week. Slowly step into a retinol routine because retinol is a very powerful ingredient. And you don't wanna shock your skin and, and sort of scare it because then you may get some initial reactions that some people can freak out to. And that's just generally okay. But to avoid that, slow, slow into it. And with retinol, you will be photosensitive. You will be more exposed to sunburn. SPF is essential with retinol. I prefer to use this during the night for me. I, I, I like to use my retinols at night.
but a great, great ingredient. Shawnee also offers this in a mini size, which is really fantastic, especially when it comes to retinol. If you are unsure of how your skin's gonna react to it and you just sort of wanna test it out maybe for like a month or two, you know, a mini size is a great way to do that. I really think once you try it, you'll fall in love with it, especially when you see the results on your skin. But that's a great way to ease into it. And like I said, if you're only using it, you know, one night a week in the beginning, a mini size will last you quite a while and at least you can get a great feel for the product. Okay, so the final product I want to talk to you about is from Peter Thomas Roth. And this is the Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. And the reason I wanted to talk about this was for two reasons. One, one of the key ingredients in here that's really gonna help you combat any dark spots or hyperpigmentation are some topical acids like kojic acid, which is a really common one that's used for dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and things like that. Acids are great in a similar way that retinol works in that they go onto the skin and they start eating away, basically breaking the bonds on those top layers of dead skin cells and allowing that cellular turnover to happen a lot faster. That's a great solution to dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It is really one of those super effective ways to actually minimize the ones that you current have. So what he did with this particular product is he combined a bunch of stuff that is known to really work towards addressing dark spots and hyperpigmentation and put them in a formula that I think is really great. And here's why. You've got those topical acids like kojic acid, there's um, uh, tre trenaximic, I cannot say, trenamaxic. Oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to say it. Don't make fun of me. Read it, you'll know it there. You see it all over on the, on the topical kind of uh, ingredients where acids are used for dark spots. Kojic and that one are really great. But there's also the alpha arbutin in here, see? Again, here we are taking the idea of the acids eating from the surface, getting rid of those top layers of skin cells, removing it. The alpha arbutin going into the skin, helping to prevent the clumping of the melanin. So we're getting a little bit of help in the preventive way, as well as also helping to deal with the current appearance of dark spots of what we have already. And then you've got niacinamide. Now niacinamide is a really great ingredient. It's definitely having its moment in the spotlight right now. To me, it's like the office manager. That's the best way to describe niacinamide. It kind of like goes onto your skin and it looks at everything that needs to happen. It looks at what you're putting on your skin, the other ingredients, and it kind of tells everybody what to do and it keeps everybody calm and, and it's just great. And it also has some capabilities to brighten dark spots and discoloration on its own. Why I like the niacinamide? I personally, me, I have a pretty reactionary somewhat sensitive skin, despite my love of acids and peels. If I have a very active formula like this, which really does have an active because it's a 15% it's a brightening complex that's inclusive of all those acids, and you are intended to leave this on your skin. This isn't a rinse off mask. This is something you put on and you leave it on, it's safe to leave on. Sometimes active products like that can cause reactions in my skin. I find the inclusion of niacinamide in this, cause I have actually used this. This is my tube, mine. <laughs> the niacinamide helps my skin remain calm. So I find whenever there's a, a formula or a serum or a treatment or something like that, that's, that's highly active, if they've included a niacinamide, I just find my skin utilizes it and absorbs it better with hardly, if ever, any reaction. So that's what I loved about this one because it's giving me such a well-rounded approach at addressing dark spots from acids, from alpha arbutin, from niacinamide, that it's really a, for me, an easy one-stop shop. And this is a great product. So I gotta say, I love this. Newer to the market, think we're gonna see a lot of people having really great results with this. Well, there you have it. A general overview of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, how to prevent them, SPF, 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 and also how to address the ones that you currently have. I've hopefully walked you through some of the 
really great ingredients out there. Sephora is packed with products that are really effective at addressing this concern. Not just the four that I spoke about here, but hopefully with your understanding of some of these ingredients now, you can take a look at Sephora.com or pop into your local Sephora and really feel educated and empowered on your own to figure out which products may be best for you because I gotta be honest with you, nowadays skincare is so great and what we have at Sephora is so top notch, you are definitely gonna find what's right for your dark spot concerns. Leave in the comment section below any products that you love, that you have found worked really great because I think personal experiences is one of the best way to learn about skincare. I would love to hear from it. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comment section below or just say hello to me in the comment section because I like to hear from all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get new videos like this from us every single week. If there's a concern, a skincare concern that any of you are like, I would really love a deep dive video on this, let me know that in the comment section below. I don't say that enough, but we do check the comments and it gives us great ideas for future videos for all of you because we want to make sure you guys are seeing what you want to see. And until next time, take a little moment, enjoy the sun with your SPF and keep those dark spots under control. Take care, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.